All right, so we back up in this bitch, man. We about to give you our week four picks. I'm on the line with my friend uh, Nitro Freak, man. EDP, what is up, man? <sighs> Shit, man, just chilling, man. Just sleepy as fuck, but fuck it. Anyways, um, my man wanted to say something, so oh, speak yeah. peace. Oh, yeah. Um, you king, your king is here, uh, 666, Patriots fan, bitch-ass fan, cheating fan. Um, I, tell your mom that I have a $20 bill that I have to drop at, back at her house. She, uh, put some good ser service down the other day, so, uh, 20 bucks. I would show you a picture of it, but, uh, we can't get the webcams going. But, uh, yeah, tell her that. I have a gift for her. There you go. All right, let's start it off. Um, t uh, let's see. Your king is here, man. I'm just letting you know, man. Um, attack this motherfucker. I ain't this shit. That's what the fuck he said. You seen it? I wasn't saying a goddamn thing. Um, okay. Uh, let's go into our picks, man. Let's go. All right. Uh, NFL week four, Thursday, September 26th. We've got the San Francisco 49ers at the St. Louis Rams. Uh, go for it. What do you got? Niners gonna kill their ass. The shit won't even be a contest, man. Just like you were saying, you know, the high um, Rams are like a fucking high school team. They, I mean, Dallas whooped their ass last week, so I got the 49ers. Yep, I'm on the same side. Uh, 49ers are gonna uh, bounce back from their tough couple weeks and uh, beat the Rams. Um, like I said before, the Rams really haven't shown me anything in Dallas. They really kicked their ass. They they buried them. So yeah, I, th I see the 49ers bouncing back this week. Um. Pittsburgh Steelers and uh, Minnesota Vikings. Who you got? <laughs> My friends going to be so fucking pissed at me. Um, I got Big Ben and the Steelers, man. Um, I know they got their ass tapped last week. You know what I'm saying versus the Bears, but I think they're gonna pull it through, man. I think that. Um, but one thing they're gonna have to do, man, they're gonna have to fix that fucking defense, man. That defense, that defense has been looking paper fucking thin. Um, um. Um, with Pittsburgh, and, you know, I feel that Big Ben is finally going to pull through and get his first win of the year. Huh. Um, this one is actually a tough one for me because I think both teams have lost their have lost their ways. I really have. Um, the game is in Minnesota. I'm going to have to go with Pittsburgh. I'm with you. Um, I just think the Minnesota Vikings aren't a good football team at all. I, I don't believe in Christian Ponder. I think Big Ben – is going to win a game like you said, and I think their defense is finally going to come together and bounce back after that tough uh, Sunday night loss against uh, the Bears. Hey, let so, me, hey, let me ask you this. Who would you take as a quarterback, Christian Ponder or Terrell Pryor? Uh, Terrell Pryor. God damn. <laughs> wow. No, I was just wondering, man, because, you know, a lot, a lot of people say that, you know, um, Christian Ponder is trash as fuck. He can't, you know, he can't throw the damn ball, you know, and – you know, I like Terrell Pryor, so, you know, that's why I was, you know, just comparing. Put it this way, okay? I'll, I'll, let's step away from the picks for a little bit. Terrell Pryor, he's one of those those players that I've always liked, mm -hmm. and he's finally shown what he can do as a pro. Christian Ponder is not an NFL quarterback. He's just a, a college football quarterback. That's all he is. He's playing college football in the NFL system, and it's showing. It's, it's just not working. Um, all right, let's go back to the picks. Baltimore okay. Ravens, Buffalo Bills, who you got? Um, I got the Buffalo Bills. <laughs> I think they're gonna get them, man. I mean, fuck. Um, who did Baltimore play last week? Uh, the Texans. Uh, Houston. Houston. Yeah. Um, yeah, I got the Bills, man. I think they're gonna pull it out, man. I think EJ Mangle was gonna show his ass, and them, um, them motherfucker gonna ride out. Huh. Okay. Um. Well, Baltimore's at Buffalo, so that changes everything. Um. I got the Ravens. I just think that the the Buffalo Bills are not ready for uh, pro football. I really don't because EJ Manuel showed that he could beat um, a team. Who did they play week two? Carolina, right? Yeah. Okay. He beat uh, Cam Newton, the Carolina Panthers. Carolina is going to be a good team this year. Um, they they mashed up on the Giants this year. So it, that's going to be a tough game. It's a very close point spread, but I'm going to have to take the Ravens. The Ravens are just on a high right now. Um, and they, I, I don't know. I think everyone's overlooking the Ravens. So, you know, I got the Ravens in a close one. But I thought you said the Panthers weren't going to make the playoffs this year, man. They're... I did. I did last week. Um, I changed my mind. I think that their defense, their front four is 
awesome. I just think they're very good on the defensive side. And Cam Newton's going to be the <laughs> the answer. I mean, is he going to perform or is he not going to c- perform? Um, so we'll see what happens. Um, if he performs, they're going to the playoffs. If not, they're going to have a 6 and 10 season. How feel you? Um, Cincinnati Bengals, Cleveland Browns. Who do you got? <laughs> Bengals going to whoop that team's ass, man. The Cleveland fucking sucks, man. I don't give a fuck, nigga, if they did beat the fucking man. So the Vikings with goddamn Brian Hoyer. Uh, look at Cincinnati going to whoop that ass, man. Like, you know, A.J. Green going to run all over that fucking Well, I ain't going to say run all over it, man. Because <laughs> they got a damn good I energy. love your enthusiasm, man. Um, you know, I, I'm, an, I'm a Hoyer fan. You just cut me the fuck up? All right, fuck it. You a, you a Brian Hoyer? Go ahead. I am a Hoyer friend, my fan. My friend. Um, I think the kid is something special. You know, I, I saw something in the Vikings uh, when he played the Vikings that I just liked. He had a lot of good pro- pocket presence. Their defense played good. Um, since they lost Trent Richardson, they have something to prove now um, because they absolutely hated that, you could tell. Um, the Bengals just came off a victory against the Packers. You all, all know what happens after a team beats a team that they really shouldn't beat. They underperform the next week against a team that they should beat. That's why I'm taking the Cleveland Browns in an upset this week. Um, Indianapolis Colts, Jacksonville Jaguars. Who do you got? Jags. I think they're going to – no, fuck that shit. Man, the Colts <laughs> are going to whoop their fucking ass, man. Like, I mean, God damn – I mean, see, this was the thing, dog. I picked the Jags last week to fucking – Upset of the goddamn millennium to beat the fucking Seahawks. Man, I ain't going to look like no fucking fool no more, man. Colts are going to whoop their ass. Yeah, I'm, I'm with you on that side. I think the Colts are going to beat them. I think it's going to be like a 17-point uh, game. I, I think it's just... It's gonna, I think it's going to be a blowout. The Colts just have too much of the Jaguars. They can't produce anything on offense or defense. They just suck. They're terrible. <laughs> yeah, they um, fucking trash. So yeah, I got the Colts. Um, Seahawks and Houston Texans. Ooh, we got a good one. Um, I got the Houston Texans. I yeah. think they're going. Um, I think they're going to put in some fucking work. It ain't going to be easy. Are they playing in Houston or in Seattle? Let me take that. Let me, let me take a look at that. Okay. Houston Texans. I think it's on the road. I can't be certain. Hold on, let me check that real quick. Bear with us, guys. Um, it's at Houston. Oh, it's at you? Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, I got the Texans, man. I'm about to say that motherfucker was in Seattle. Shit. Fuck <laughs> that. But, um, yeah, I got Houston, man. I think they're going to pull it out. She EDP. <laughs> um, I got the Houston Texans as well. I, I think it's an upset. And uh, I, just, I just think the Seahawks are going to take a dive for the first time this year. You know, they're a fantastic team. They have great defense. Um, they have the two best cornerbacks in the league, in my opinion, between Brower and uh, Sherman. They're they're insane on defense, but I think the Texans have a, an above-average defense, and I think they have a better offense, in my opinion. So when it, when they come together in Houston, I think Houston will win that game. Pretty close game, though. I'm going to give it a three-point game, but I think Houston wins it. Um, Arizona Cardinals and Tampa Bay Bucks. Who do you got? Cardinals are going to fuck them niggas up. Huh. <laughs> um, I mean, fuck, man. Tampa Bay ain't been able to do shit this year, dog. Like, fuck, man. Got it the Cardinals. Got Where's the game being played? Uh, I think it's being played in Tampa Bay. Tampa? If that's the case, all right, only if that's the case, I'm taking the Buccaneers. They have to win sometime, and all of this drama that's going on with the locker room, Greg Schiano, all of that, I think it's going to mesh into one, and I finally think they're going to squeak out a victory. Um, the Cardinals, they showed a little bit of they, – they showed a little bit in the beginning of the season, but they're still the fucking Cardinals. They suck. Um, yeah, I like the Bucs next – this week. Um, at least this week, just the Buccaneers. Um, Chicago Bears, Detroit Lions. Who do you got? Um, I got the Chicago Bears. I think Jake Cutler is going to walk into Detroit and rape the fuck out of that goddamn defense, man. I mean, that motherfucker's a gunslinger. You see the way, I mean, you've seen the way they beat up upon the Steelers last week, you know. Um, I think that that Bears defense is, like, I don't think they all know 85 Bears type shit, but, you know, like, I like their defense. I think they're pretty good. And I think Jay Cutler is going to be able to, you know, make some shit happen, you know. So I got the Bears. 
Yeah, um, I got the Lions, and I'm going to tell you why. Um, the, Lions, the Chicago Bears beat Pittsburgh in Pittsburgh. Everyone was surprised. Like, the Pittsburgh team was the best thing since sliced bread. They aren't a – put it this way, okay? The Bears – <laughs> this is a tough one because the Bears are like that team that shows up and then they don't show up. In my opinion, they're going to go to Detroit and completely underestimate this team. And Detroit is actually a pretty decent team in my honest opinion. They went into Landover and completely they, – they beat Washington, and Washington was desperate for a win. So when they go in there and beat them, I think they're going to handle business at home and beat the Bears. That's just my opinion. Um uh, New York Giants and Chiefs, who do you got? Man, the Chiefs are going to whoop that team's fucking ass, man. These motherfuckers, man. Like, nigga, the Giants, them motherfuckers is garbage as fuck, man. I mean, goddamn, like, Cam Newton raped the fuck out of that entire goddamn defense, blew the bitches out 38 to nothing. And by the way, Giants fans, y'all motherfuckers can't say shit to us talking about that nigga. We fucking suck, man. Like... Like, on some real-ass shit, man, you know, the last time we got blown out was at the hands of y'all, but check this shit out. At least we were able to put up a... At least we were able able to put up some fucking points, okay? Y'all just got y'all motherfucking asses humiliated on live TV, 38 to fucking nothing, man. I remember uh, Peyton Manning, that motherfucker, what? He got sacked, what, six times in the first fucking half? Chiefs, Chiefs are gonna fuck y'all up, man. That's... All right, the things I look at this game, okay, and there's no way you can pick the Giants in this scenario. Like, there's no way. If you if you pick the Giants, I would love to hear why. The Chiefs have probably the second best secondary in the league. They have a great front four, okay. They know how to mess people up throwing the ball. They pressure the quarterback like it's insane. Eli Manning has. Average time of 1.5 seconds to throw the ball per snap. <laughs> <laughs> He's running for his life. The running game sucks. Their defense is atrocious. I see the Chiefs winning this by 20 points. Honestly, I, I don't see how the Giants win this game. I, I don't. The, the, no one sticks. Nothing sticks out there. Just show me that the Giants have what it takes to beat the Chiefs in Kansas City against a hostile crowd. I, I just don't see it. Yeah, I feel you. Um, One more thing before we go on to our next pick. Andy Reid, if you're watching this video, you can kiss my round, fat, black ass. Fuck you. Next. You really don't like him? Fuck that, nigga. I can't, I can't stand that motherfucker, man. You know, at the end of that goddamn Eagles game, man, he kissing the reporter's head. You know, you know what I'm saying? I mean, they shoved this shit up his ass, talking about, oh, well, I'm going to take it just as in any other game. Fuck that shit, man. You throwing Gatorade and shit on the coat. Uh -huh. No, I, dude, I was at that game. Let me tell you something. We're going to take a break from these picks a little bit. I'm going to take a minute to talk about this. I was at that game. Mm -hmm. He was on the field screaming at the referees. Have you ever seen him on the field with us screaming at the referees? He wanted to beat us. I'm telling you. He wanted to beat us so bad that he could look back and laugh at us. I'm telling you. It, it, was, it was ridiculous. You know, and it's funny because a lot of people, they come on my shit and they hit me up on Twitter. Oh, I bet you would have kept, I bet you wish you would have kept Andy Reid. It's like, dude, if we would have kept this motherfucker this season, we would have been trash as fuck. Yep. Like, like, what were we supposed to do? You know what I'm saying? He was, he was too relaxed here. It's like, if he wins the Super Bowl with KC, a lot of people are going to be mad. But honestly, I won't be surprised because he has, a, he has a new team. He has a new format. If he stayed here, he'd have the same old team. He'd have the same old format. He'd throw the ball 60 times a game with a running QB. It just wouldn't work. So good luck to Andy Reid. Go do what you got to do and get the fuck out of Philly. Um, Shit. Hey, dog. One more thing, man. One more thing, dog. Hold on one second. Oh, um, that motherfucker went to Super Bowl up in Kansas City. Don't bring your ass to Philly. Motherfuckers will put a contract out on your ass. You know, like, like nigga, you ain't going to make it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? What if, what if he did? Oh, the motherfucker this, would die. This year. See, I put it like this. I swear to God, dude. If he won a Super Bowl this year, I would make a video called Andy Reid's Plan to Fuck the Eagles, dog. It was a fucking conspiracy, man, because how the fuck are you going to sit back and spend 14 years with one goddamn team, can't do shit, and all of a sudden you go to another goddamn team and you win the Super Bowl? Fuck that. Mm -mm. Yeah, that's true. All right, let's get back. I think it's safe to say you hate him. Oh, um, 
The New York Jets versus the Tennessee Titans. Who do you got? Titans. Titans. Yeah. Um, yeah, I got the Titans, too. I think the Jets are smoking mirrors. Um, I really still don't think Geno Smith is all that good. Um, yeah, I got the Titans. in a six-point game, Titans win 27-21. Um, Dallas Cowboys, San Diego Chargers, who do you got? I got the Dallas Cowboys. Um, yeah. I just think that, you know, after they, well, they beat the fuck out of the goddamn, um, who the fuck they play last week? The Rams, right? Um, yeah. I, you know, I, I was thinking to myself, a lot of people, they think I'm crazy as fuck, but I honestly see the Cowboys winning the division this year, and I think they're going to, you know, I don't, I don't think it's going to be no ass whooping, but I think it will be a close game. I say 33-30. to 30. I agree. Um, but I do not agree with the pick, however. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm picking the San Diego Chargers. Um, San Diego Chargers came into Philly week two and completely molested us. Um, they hadn't, they went into Tennessee last week and lost on a, like pretty much a Hail Mary with, uh, 30 seconds to go. So they're going to be hungry and dangerous, especially when it's in San Diego. I see San Diego actually beating the Cowboys this week. Very close game again. Damn, there's a lot of close games this week. Um, close game. I'm going to say three point game. Chargers win it 31 to 28. Um, Washington and Oakland. This may surprise you. So give me your pick. I got the Raiders. Um, fuck Washington, man. What motherfucker? I mean, they can't do shit, dog. Like, I mean, don't get me wrong, man. They put up a fight versus the um, versus the uh, versus the Lions, but I got the fucking Raiders, man. I think they're gonna take it, man. Washington just fucking sucks ass, dude. Yeah, this see, this one was a tough one for me. Um, I like your Raiders pick. Um, you know, the Raiders showed some guts on Monday Night Football. Uh, Terrell Pryor is a complete stud. I think he's going to be great in the years, uh, the late years to come. But, you know, I'm going to have to – this is a tough one. I'm going to have to take the Redskins just because RG3 has too much pride. And if he if they lose to the Raiders, they know their season's over. So I think they're going to put it all on the line and go 1-3 and three in Oakland. Oakland's a tough place to play. Mm-hmm. So you have to keep that in mind. So I like your pick, but I'm just going to say they squeak it out and go one and three. Okay. If they don't, their season's over. Mark my words, Redskins. Your season's over <laughs> if you lose to Oakland. There's no hope. <laughs> um, Eagles, Denver, Broncos, who you got? Um, give me one second. Come on, my nigga! I'm trying to do a video! <laughs> Fuck, man! Say that again. I'm sorry, dog. Well, uh, what was it? God damn. Man, you said the who? Eagles, Denver Broncos. <sighs> shit, man. You know, fuck. You know what, man? Fuck this Homer shit, okay? You know, I- I'm the type of nigga to where I try to be. I try to be as fucking realistic as possible. Um, mm-hmm. I think the Broncos are going to pull it out, and the reason I say that is because you know our defense sucks fucking ass. We have a we have a goddamn D coordinator. That's too busy rushing three and keeping eight other motherfuckers back off in coverage. I mean, I don't give a goddamn if you have the entire stadium in zone coverage. Any quarterback is going to pick that thing apart. But that being said, man, I do believe that we will score some points. You know what I'm saying? But we're going to have to be able to score points without the high tempo offense, you know, because because that air is thin as fuck up there. You know what I'm saying? And and if you try to, you know, run a high tempo offense, you're gonna have our people gas like fuck. Um I say Broncos take it forty five to thirty one. Alright. I understand. <laughs> um the Eagles are a work in progress. Let's just let's keep it let's keep it real, okay? Mm-hmm. Um I know they're gonna put up a lot of points this game. They're gonna put up honestly, in my opinion, forty points. Um but that being said, the Denver Broncos have everybody and their mother on that fucking team. It's just like, it, like it, it baffles me. Like it, it's ridiculous. Like he has Wes Welker, Thomas, Decker, Julie, Julius Thomas is the tight end. You have Peyton Manning, no Sean Moreno, Ball, fucking Hillman, Drew uh, Holiday, their kick returner. You have a Cromartie on the defensive side. You have Champ Bailey. You have fucking Von Miller when he comes back, even though he's not playing. Um, they're ridiculous, man. If they don't win every single game this year, I will be completely stunned. Um, but that being said, 
I'm picking the Broncos to win this week, but do not. I'm just. I'm picking that to save my ass. But since the Eagles have ten days to prepare for this game, okay, do not be surprised if the Eagles pull out a close one. That's all I'm gonna say. But to save my ass, I'm gonna say Denver. Dude, I, dude, I put it like this, man. If the fucking Eagles win this goddamn game, nigga, I will jack off the fucking porn five goddamn times in one day, dude. <laughs> and I'll be tired as fuck doing that shit, dog. <laughs> yeah, I got you, man. Well, let, let's hope it. Let's let's just watch. You know, let's you. just watch and see. Yeah. Um, we can only hope. Uh, New England Patriots versus Atlanta Falcons. Who do you got? Um. Who do I want to win? I want the Falcons to rape this fucking team. But um, who do I think is going to win? I think New England's going to win it, man. I mean, even though they don't have, I know Brady does and have a motherfucking soul to throw it to. You know what I'm saying? But then again, hey, it is Tom Brady. You got the motherfucking NFL sucking that nigga's dick and shit. You know, and, you know, some stupid fucking shit is going to happen and the Patriots are going to pull it out. Probably like, probably like one fucking point. Yeah, I got you. Atlanta's at home. I'm taking Atlanta. Um, Patriots just aren't a good football team, in my opinion. They're, yeah, they're three and zero. People will look at that and say, "Oh, we're gonna be awesome. We're gonna go to the Super Bowl this year." Assholes. The Eagles started off two and two and zero last year. Okay, should have started three and zero with the Arizona Cardinals, but we sucked ass. We couldn't even get past them. Then we beat the Giants to go 3-1. and one. So, yeah, we started out pretty damn good, too. But you're going to see that the, pa- the Patriots going to Atlanta completely get killed. I mean, annihilated, okay? They- he has nobody to throw to. Absolutely nobody. His-, his main target is Edelman, and he's not a prime receiver. Yeah. You guys don't understand. They're not a good football team this year. They played the Jets, the Bills, and the fucking Buccaneers, okay? They're not a good football team at all. So I'm taking the Falcons to win this game by 10 points. Not to mention they damn near lost to the fucking Bills and the Jets. Mm-hmm. Exactly. <laughs> sure. um, Falcons are a Super Bowl contender, so that's just my opinion. Um, Miami Dolphins, Saints, who do you got? Uh, Dolphins. You know, I've seen Saints swag 23's comments on there. That motherfucker was like, you know, oh, you know, they going, you know, it's going to be too noisy out there in the Superdome and shit. You know, just like you were saying up in your video, dog, like, Miami, man, they ain't no fucking joke, man. You know what I'm saying? And I honestly do feel that it's Miami's time to shine. You know, um, after being the fucking doormats of the AFC East, you know, to the Patriots and shit, you know, it's time for the Dolphins. It's time for the Dolphins to shine, and I do think they're going to pull it out. I think they're going to go to 4-0. Ryan Tannehill, that boy ain't no fucking joke, you know, and I always liked him, you know. Yep. Um, I agree. I have the Miami Dolphins um, taking it in the Superdome against New Orleans Saints. Their defense is absolutely spectacular. Their coaching is spectacular. Ryan Tannehill is evolving into what he should have been. Um, they have Mike Wallace receiving. They have a couple of good weapons on the offensive line. They have um, Lamar Miller as a running back. Complete stud of a running back. He's on my fantasy team. Um yeah, I just think it's the Dolphins' year, like you said. I picked them to win the division outright. Um, I think I honestly think they're going to go twelve and four, eleven and five this year. I, I think they're pretty damn good. So I have the Dolphins going to the Super Bowl and stomping out the Saints. Who that? <laughs> damn, <laughs> crazy as fuck, man. So was that was that the last pick? That's it, man. Shit, fuck it. Um, hey, but wouldn't it be crazy if the Eagles and Broncos ended the game up in a fucking tie? Yeah, it would, but that's not going to happen. Damn, all right. Shit, ain't nothing wrong with hoping for fucking dreaming, right? Yeah, I, it's going to be a good game. I'll be in Philly to watch the game at Chickies and Pete. So if anyone's out there that wants to come come and sit down with me, be my guest. Oh, and speaking of that, man, I'm going to be um, next week when the Eagles play the Giants. I'm going back down to L.A. to go watch the game with Delia at the Tavern. So she's going to be off the chain. Man, we're going to be tiny chatting. She's going to be live streaming. I'm going to be getting fucked up on cheesesteak. So... <laughs> Yeah. Good. Good. We're gonna kick their ass, so it doesn't even matter. So if we go one and three this week, we'll be two, uh, easy two and three the next week. So, um, yeah, we got it. So that's basically it. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. So next time, y'all checking the fuck one about this motherfucker. This video damn near twenty five minutes. Oh well, <laughs> fuck it. Anyways, y'all have a good one and peace, motherfuckers. Peace.